So, I actually recorded this video already, but then they went and released a new snapshot, and it changed everything that I talked about yesterday, so here we are again. But I'm still going to use the same intro I did yesterday because I thought it was pretty good. I said that water will never be the same again. It's not H2O anymore. It's H2... Whoa. Are you still here after that one? I don't know, but let's dive right in. Okay, so things have actually changed a little bit since I went over this yesterday, so I'm gonna try to knock it out uh, just as well anyway. So last time or a couple of these videos ago, right, I showed that stairs and stone bricks, you know, place them underwater, you can use them for builds and they won't get the weird, you know, water surrounding them that you get if you, say, put down a door. You don't get that anymore, which is kind of nice. It allows you to, you know, use these blocks underwater or uh, whatever you want to do with them. So they've just updated that a little bit. It includes more blocks now because I showed like fences last time around. Didn't work. They'd still get that water surrounding them, the weird graphic, but those are good now. Uh, signs even, those are actually since yesterday. I don't know if this will affect anything when it comes to people using signs in their builds to like stop water flowing through. I don't think it will. I'm pretty sure like if we put a sign down like a few signs up here, and then we put water down next to it, it won't flow through the sign. Like if I put a sign down there, it'll still stop the water. So, looks like people's builds are safe, so that's good. Just figured I'd test that real quickly since I hadn't before. Um, but when you put it underwater, it'll uh, it'll blend in, it won't get the weird, you know, artifacting and stuff that you do with uh, beds and whatnot. I'm sure that over time they're gonna integrate like every possible block just so that everything sort of works with water unless you know i'm sure there's some exception to the rule where you don't want it to but whatever the case iron bars yeah same bug happened yesterday you have to fill it in with water i'm not sure exactly why but um after you do that it, it works just fine trap doors are new since yesterday as well so um you get all these different options uh as for things that'll blend in underwater which is uh kind of cool next up and this is where everything got changed up <laughs> since yesterday um so you can now put water into half slab and stair blocks and basically you can click on any block and like kind of turn it into a, a source block if it's not a full solid cube like a stone or a, a dirt or something like that. So if I put down water right there, it just fills in the upper half component of the half slab, um, but it won't flow into any adjacent blocks that you know it wouldn't have flown into uh, previously. Wouldn't have flow flowed. Flown is the wrong word, that's like an airplane. Where things changed is that, so this is, I, you expect it to work this way, so I, I click on the uh, the stair block with the water there, and um, it, it fills it with water. Yesterday though, it would have flowed out all over the place, and that's kind of what changed. So basically the rule is now that if there is an open face on the block, it'll flow out into any other blocks it would have flown out, flow, flowed out into previously, um, assuming there's nothing there to block it. So, I put the stair down like this, put the water down, it'll flow out in that direction, and, um, you know, whatever else would have happened as if you did the same thing as, like, uh, let's say we had a, a, a source block, or a, a grass block right there, we put the source block, it acts the same way as if we had that right there, as if I go like this, and uh, you can actually, I should say, you can put the stair down into the source block and it won't delete the source block uh, until you actually delete the stair. So it's kind of interesting. It more or less like turns the block, the stair, the half slab, whatever you're putting it into, into a source block of water, um, just with a, some restrictions as to how it flows out depending upon like solid faces. So if I put it here, right, it's not gonna flow out in both directions. It's just gonna have the ability to, well, I guess it would have the ability to flow out in both sides there. Uh, rather than just the one, because, um, or rather than the three. Yeah, just be able to flow out in the two directions because it's open here and open there. But I guess you can't really have this block just on its own because it requires connecting stairs, but you get the idea. So if you wanted to like fill in this entire thing as a little half deep pond, you would have to click on every single block because it won't flow into adjacent ones. Because normally if you know, if you had a source block and next to a half slab, it's not gonna flow into the half slab. So that's like, the rule that you have to follow. So, right, like if I had a half slab here and I put water right in the middle of it, it's not gonna flow into those. And so it follows the same rules, even if you then put the half slab underneath it. So something to keep in mind. Um, but it allows you to make cool new things. Like you wouldn't be able to, 
make a, a, a little thing like this before. Um, obviously, you can make a one by one thing of water, but it couldn't be surrounded by a, a half barrier um, in the middle of stairs, so like a little bird bath or something like that, which is uh, kind of cool. Also, just another demo, right? Like if you click on here, it turns the iron bar block into a source block, but it won't flow into another block where the iron bars already are unless you click on that block uh, with another thing of water. And then you can just delete the source blocks by deleting the iron bars themselves. Um, so kind of an interesting thing to keep in mind that the iron bars themselves, when you delete them, it does remove the water uh, with it. And that it flows out in this case because iron bars are not considered to have a closed face on any side, they're all open. Um, so that's why it'll flow in all directions if you just like put an iron bar down there and place the water It's it's as if the source block is just right there until you delete it uh, Same goes for fences, right? You just put that down and it's gonna flow out as if you know the fence weren't there But the fence exists in the middle of it um, And doesn't have the weird, you know water lines around it where they can't occupy the same block you delete the fence and uh, there you are, good to go. Actual practical application for this uh, comes in the way of uh, using stairs to create these little channels, which still, you know, this is all considered to be water source blocks. Um, but for the purposes of like walking on it, you're not gonna fall into the water and you get this beautiful little side effect, right? Of if you have, you know, sugar cane that you're trying to harvest, counts as a source block, you delete the sugar cane, which, you know, I'd have to be in survival for. But no longer will the sugar cane have to actually fall into the water next to it. And you can walk across it. So if you have, like, you know, just this line here, and you have sugar cane directly on either side of it, you can just stand on here, break the sugar cane on either side, and it's either going to go into your inventory or just fall onto the ground. You know, it's not going to... I mean, the worst case, it falls into the half-deep thing, but as you walk over it, you'll pick it up rather than having to swim in the water. So um, it's actually pretty convenient in that regard. Uh, and then I just made this little fountain as a demo, which um, couldn't have existed before because of the way that, like, you know, the stair pattern here couldn't have filled in these little uh, half blocks here. So you can make a, some pretty cool little fountain designs you couldn't have uh, previously. Even though I had to update this from the way I had it laid out previously because things changed. Uh, but I, I do think it's an improvement over how things were yesterday. Uh, it didn't really make sense to me. The water would start flowing out the back of a, a stair if you put water on it. Uh, it was kind of bizarre. So um, I'm glad that it was changed. And I think that uh, had I made the video uh, or shown the video of it yesterday, people have been like, why does it work? Like, that's weird. Okay, but sure, fine. Anywho, here, so if I do this, just a little demo of how this is made. Again, I'm sure it's pretty obvious, but you just put the stairs down, click on it with water, and there you go. Good to go. Uh, easier way to farm sugarcane or crops for that matter, because it, it'll saturate any farmland that you have next to it as well. Um, again, you can almost just think of it as it is water. It just happens to have, you know, the, the visuals of a stair with it, uh, and it works for player collision. So anyway, that's that when it comes to the, the water updates, pretty good stuff, pretty good stuff. I think a, a long overdue little update there. We have one more thing to check out though. So let's go to that. So finally, coral now generates naturally. The blocks were added a short while ago, but uh, you would have to just fetch them from the creative menu. Now you get this. It spawns in the uh, warm ocean biome, but it seems to be pretty rare even at that. I searched around for a whole long time trying to find it myself and ended up just uh, snagging the seeds someone had posted. But here's what it looks like. Pretty cool. Again, making the oceans a little more interesting. And then you get the tropical fish spawning around them, and that looks pretty nice. I'm a fan. I'm a fan, except for the fact that you can't, you know, bring it uh, above water. So you're going to have to build like a, an underwater subnautica base or something if you want to take advantage of all the prettiness. Or you can make an aquarium in your house or something like that. I suppose that works too. So there we go. That's it for the like fourth, fifth snapshot this week or something like that. Um, not video, but they've released a whole bunch of new iterations this week. So anyway, hopefully you've enjoyed. Make sure to like if you like, check out the playlist in the description if you want to catch any other update videos. Subscribe if you're not already, and um, we'll leave it there. If you want to listen to the music playing in the background, like is in the outro over on Marin Music. I'll see you next time.